That's not even the bright mode. Hey guys, so we managed to get the prototype bat repelling device machined. So we were able to do this on a hobby level uh, CNC machine, which wasn't the most ideal. It's not designed for making big parts like this, and in the end it probably took about 30 to 40 hours to machine all this. So let's take a closer look at what we did, and then we'll get right to the test. So as you can see, we still have the uh, three components. We have the lever arm, the back casing and the front casing. And because the aluminum is a bit rough on the edges, we did shave them down a little bit, we also 3D printed uh, plastic covers, okay, that's the wrong one, plastic covers to help make it easier to grip. So let's put it back together. Alright, so we're ready to test. Now, spoiler alert, we've already actually tested it. And as it turns out, the design works exactly as we planned it to. It locks, auto locks when the rope is pulled, and when you release it, it releases the rope. The problem is, we didn't really add much of a friction zone, which really means it's on or off. So you're either holding the rope, or you're falling. Which isn't the most ideal for a repelling situation. And because of that, we actually noticed there's another problem. So you're scared to press the button? So I want to think my tab. Press the button that happens. The rope broke in the same place again. Yeah. Why? So, the issue is that it's it's static rope. There's no uh, there's no stretch. So you have any kind of momentum, and that's that's not absorbed in the stretch of the rope. It's just immediately impact, and that causes a break. So the problem with this is. While the Kevlar is rated to a thousand pounds, that's a thousand pounds static loading when it's possible to exceed that quite easily while you're falling. Whereas regular rock climbing ropes are rated for tens of thousands of newtons and then their break points are even higher than that. Their break points are higher and they're dynamic, so they stretch like 30%. Whereas this stuff probably stretches 1%. 2 to 5%, nothing. All right, so the Kevlar might not be the best choice for this. Yeah, uh, not the best choice, but with some sort of spring in the system, it might, it might still work. Well, we have one week to figure this out. Yeah. All right, so the aluminum prototype that we spent so much time on didn't quite work the way we'd hoped because it doesn't have much of a friction zone. Don't worry though, we've actually gone ahead and redesigned it and had it machined out of plastic engineering plastic, which didn't take nearly as long as the aluminum. So we're going to be doing the test this weekend, and my ankles are really hoping that having this friction zone will solve the uh, rope breaking issue. So stay tuned for an update on Monday.